welcome to Life on Turkey Lane. I'm Sheila, by the way. So glad you've joined me tonight. And um, I thought I would share, I've already got one of them painted. <laughs> but um, I, in a few videos ago, I showed you the couple of rocking chairs that we got off the of Facebook Marketplace. I got the pair of them for $20. And um, they are gonna be for the porch of the tiny farmhouse back there. And um, so, I already started painting, but I thought, oh, what the hey, I'll just go ahead and share with you um, how I'm painting them. Originally, I was thinking about buying a quart of just some black outdoor um, paint from Lowe's or whatever. Um, but truthfully, I felt like the finish on them, there would be too many paint strokes and different things like that. And then also getting into all the crevices and cracks and lines and all that stuff was going to be a real booger so um, i decided to spray paint them and so i'm using the uh, rust-oleum two times paint and primer and um in the satin sheen and so i'll aim you down here and let you take a look at the one we got done and you know just kind of there's really no process to go through um i made sure i cleaned these chairs up real good um, a few of the boards that were kind of um, peeling apart a little bit, I fixed those. I just glued them together and clamped them so they would stay together. And these are really old rocking chairs. Um, but $20 for the pair is very little. So I'm just going to salvage them and reuse them and make, make good with them. And so, yeah, let me aim you down here and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now this was, and I'll, I'll post a picture up here of what they look like before I started. This one that's painted black, right here, is the turquoise one. And now, I thought I could get away with, with buying about three cans of the spray paint, and I actually thought I had one out in the garage, so I only originally bought um, one or two. And, um, but I didn't have any more in the garage and I think I'm gonna have to buy another can of this because this chair took about two cans of paint. Um, so a little more paint than I was anticipating, but it was very simple and very easy to do because like I said, instead of trying to get the paint brush into the little tiny cracks and crevices, the spray paint reaches that area for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and I've already started this with what I had left in my second can of spray paint and um so I will just uh you know let you kind of see a little bit of the process that I'm going through to get these painted so I thought I would just turn the chair like this and get the bottom painted first that way when I have to turn it over I'm not messing up the top part of the chair that has already been painted if that makes sense so anyway so real easy here and this is a really good quality spray paint <clears throat> And I already see, I see a couple spots on here that need to be touched up just on this chair. So, okay. Now, what I do when I spray paint, I know a lot of people will just, you know, kind of tap the trigger on their spray paint and make little, little sprays. But you can spray continuously as long as you keep your, the can moving at all times. You don't want to hold it in one spot, but if you keep the can moving, it, you'll have a nice, um, uh, 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 just a nice layer of paint. And you also should not get any runs.
Um, and I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna paint the the bottom of the little. Um, I don't know what those are called. The rockers there, um, because they don't need to be painted. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is do a complete and thorough coat, but enough where, you know, I may have to come back later and, you know, kind of fill in a couple little places that didn't get full coverage, but I'm trying to get a, pretty much a full coat on the first time. Okay, and I don't know how actually how much you're able to see because uh, I'm kind of in front of the camera here. I'm trying to keep my head out of the picture so you can kind of see. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good coat on the bottom for now. And um, I will be back after this dries and we'll try to um, finish up the bottom part. And then um, hopefully I'll get the chance to run and get a little bit more paint and we can um, finish this chair out. So uh, I will be back in a little bit. Okay guys, so while the bottom of this uh, rocking chair here was drying, I went down to the garden for a little bit to check things out. And uh, I'm gonna post a picture up here. Um, it's really neat. I've never seen one before, but we have, um, I think some people would call it a Siamese twin. Some people would call it a conjoined twin. Um, but we have a yellow crook crookneck squash that is two of them that are joined together. And um, so I took a picture of it and I'm gonna post it up here, but I think that I thought that was pretty neat. I've never seen one before. You probably have, I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, I don't think it's gonna make, I, I don't think it's, uh, I don't know that it's been pollinated. And uh, since it's got two flowers on it, even if one of them got pollinated, the other one wouldn't grow. So I don't know that anything will come of it, but it's pretty co cool anyway. So I thought I'd share that with you. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this uh, chair over here and um, get started on the top portion of it and I like I said I know I don't have enough paint to finish it tonight so I'll probably uh, come back on here tomorrow after I get a fresh can of paint and we'll finish this up and we'll set them in place and um, see how they look. We're about to run out of paint, so I'm going to try to get this back portion painted up, and then we'll have to wait until tomorrow to finish this up. And I've got a little spider there that just jumped off. He's probably not real happy about being spray painted.
Okay, so I think that's going to be a wrap for this can of paint. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got, uh, I, I actually went ahead and bought two cans of paint. Um, let me show you again what I'm using. It is the Rust-Oleum Two Times Paint and Primer in the Satin, and this is Canyon Black. Um, and I will tell you a little, it may not be a secret to you, but like a little secret is that, now I've been buying ours at Walmart because Walmart's closer to me, and it's $5.97 a can at Walmart. Um, last night, we went to Menards up in a town that's about 30-something miles away from us, and they have it for five twenty-seven a can, so it's um, seventy cents difference a can. That that's major. So you know you might think about if you live close to Menards, getting your stuff there. Sorry for the traffic. We we do live on like a little country road, but there's some people that live past us here and across the street, and so sometimes we have a little bit of traffic, especially on the weekends. And so, um, but we're well on our way to painting this. The back, the underside really got a pretty good coat the other day, except for the back of the rungs there. So we're going to finish this up and uh, see if we can get it done. And then we'll get it put on the porch of the farmhouse back there. And, uh, and then I also got some uh, surprise I will share with you in just a minute. Um, but I think back at the very beginning when I showed you the tiny farmhouse and we took the little tour, I mentioned that I was looking for a vintage, like, mail slot for the door. And now I didn't find one in the, any of the antique malls around here. And the ones that I had seen online previously, um, like on eBay, were way too expensive. And so um, I thought, eh. I'm not going to spend that much money on something for the tiny farmhouse here, you know, that's not really usable. It's just for decoration. Um, but I actually found one not too long ago um, for $25, I think it was. So I splurged and went ahead and got that. So we're going to put that on there today, too. So I'll show you that here in just a little bit after we get this chair painted. Okay, guys, that's pretty much a wrap for the chair. We're going to let it dry, and um, I'm going to probably go in and have some lunch. And um, But let me, before I do that, let me show you the little, um, the little mail slot I got. Hold on just a minute. Okay, guys, so um, it came packaged really well, and I didn't put it back in the bubble wrap. I just put it back in this brown paper, but... Um, this is a vintage brass mail slot. 
And now I'm not gonna put a hole in the door as far as where this can actually be usable. Um, but I did buy some um, metal tap screws that will screw this into the door because it didn't come with the, the back plate that would go like on the inside of the door. It, um, this, is, this is what it came with, but it says letters. Of course, you can see that. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, after this chair dries and we put these chairs on the, uh, the porch over there, we're gonna screw this onto the door. I've got a level and we're gonna level it up and make sure it's in the right spot. And like I said, I have some self-tapping screws that are gonna work just fine, I believe. And so we're gonna do that today too. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the painting is finished, it's dry. And so as you can see, I've got the first one on the porch. Now I probably should have tried them uh, to make sure they fit before I actually did all this, but they're gonna be used anyway, even if they don't get used here, they'll be used on the front porch or of the house or something like that. But it looks like they're fitting okay. Um, in order to sit in them on rock though, I'm gonna have to pull them out just a little bit. Um, mainly they're probably not going to be used all that much. Um, so they're kind of just for decoration, but if we want to sit out here, they're available. So let me move this in just a little bit. And then, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my little plant. I think I'll probably bring a little table. I think I'll probably bring a little table out here. To put my little plant on in between the rockers but for right now i'm just going to move this over okay and now let's get this other one up here And now I'm just going to stand back and look at this. And when I get it all put together and stuff, well, I'll give you a full size view of it. But I think, um, why don't we go ahead and start putting the little mail slot on the door here. Okay, so I've got the mail slot just right here. It's pretty, I think. So... I'm really loving that. And then I've got some, what they call self-drilling screws and they're pretty short ones. They're only uh, three quarters inch, so they won't go all the way through the door, but they will go through this and keep this held on there. And I've also brought um, my drill with the right bit on it and a level, just a small level. And so I'm going to have to sit down here on the porch to do this, but I'm going to see if I can get you in a place where you can uh, see me and see what's going on. But um, anyway, I did also bring some painter's tape in the event that I need to use that. But now I'm going to look, look like a big old sack of potatoes down here doing this. And I don't know what it is on this porch. There's a whole bunch of droplets that are like sticky. Like if... Uh, like if there was some kind of sugar water or something over here, and I'm not sure what that would be. Um, let's see. Should I put it up about there? Should I put it right under the window? Or should I put it down farther? You know, like, like there? Or should I put it way down here? Oh, decisions, decisions. down 
about right there. So, okay, let me get a couple of these screws out and I'm gonna be a terrible dirty mess of dust all over my skirt and all that stuff, but that's okay. Now let me see. You know, I should have brought some kind of marker to get in those holes there so that I could see how this is doing. But I think I'm just gonna put that screw right there and my drill up. Make sure that's kind of level. Oops. About right, right there. And I think since these screws are silver, I may come back later on with like a little bit of gold paint or rub and buff and just touch those up with a little paintbrush so they kind of match. Um, because this didn't come with any brass screws or anything. And I couldn't find any of the brass self-tapping at the store. And man, I don't know what that, if it's sap of some sort on here, but that is sticky stuff, guys. I've got it all over my fingers. We got our letter, our mail slot on there. I think that looks great. I hope I put it in the right spot where it doesn't look really dumb because I, you know, I mean, I never had a house with a mail slot, so I don't know where they go. People have put them in lots of different places, I believe. So now that is pushing the door back right there because of this little opening. Of course, this is not gonna handle mail, so it's just for decoration. And so, isn't that cute? I love it. Um, and like I said, I got it on eBay um, from somebody that was selling it. It is vintage and, you know, I almost hate to put it out here because it is vintage, but it was uh, way cheaper than any of the other ones I found. And I think my camera's a little crooked. Sorry for that. As soon as I get up, we'll straighten you up a little bit. But so we got that done. Okay, you guys, so I'm trying to decide because the windows are kind of off kilter there. The, you know, the one window over on this side is not in the center. And so it's looking a little off and I don't know if I should, how to put the chairs there. I don't know if I should move them down a little bit farther. Um, let's try that and see how it looks. Let's stand back and see how that looks. Um, I don't know. I really, I almost hate to put them where they're centered on that window because it's so close to the door. Okay guys, so there we go. We have the little rocking chairs on the porch there and we have a little makeshift table in between with the plant on it. And um, I think it's looking real cute. 
Um, of course, the window's not centered, and so everything's just a little bit off, but that's okay because little farmhouses are a little bit off sometimes. So um, I'm happy with that. I think it's doing good. I love the, let me know what you think of the little mail slot on the door. Um, later on, I want to put a new doorknob on um, something or either paint the one that's on there so you can kind of see it and you know it's a door and, you know, you can see the doorknob. Um, but, um, and the plant should be blooming a little more here pretty soon too. I've just picked, deadheaded it and it'll get some more flowers throughout the season. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think they turned out so cute. It was an easy project. It was very inexpensive um, because, like I said, we found these chairs on Marketplace. And um, so, yeah, I think it's it's looking super adorable. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you think um, of this project. Uh, let me know what, you, you know, how you think it looks. And um, I'm hoping that at some point in the future, we can get the cupola on the top of the tiny farmhouse here. And um, just a couple other things. I do have some like um, wood to go, kind of go along the bottom of the deck. Um, but anyway, uh, we found some wood, some like fence pickets, like we used for the skirting on the bottom of the little tiny farmhouse here. Um, for the bottom of the um, the deck. So I will be putting those on in the near future and getting that wrapped up. And um, But I just love this little place tucked out here in the woods. Um, it's just a cute little haven, I think. And eventually I'm gonna get to fix up the inside of it and, and make it even a little better. Since it's been moved, it needs some work. Um, but I think she's looking good overall and I'm happy with that and it just looks so cute and so anyway um i've got to put a few of these things away and um oh and i i think i forgot to mention to you um i think i found out what all the holes in the yard is from remember i when i showed you the tiny farmhouse and putting the little flower um the flower um bed on the front of the tiny camper over there um, I showed you all the holes in the yard and was concerned that they could be snake holes and they still, some of them could be snake holes. But, um, one day, a little while back, I was walking out here and right next to the tiny farmhouse here on this side, right over here. And the little, the little chair that I had the flower basket in is kind of covering that area. Sorry, I'm sweating and stuff, but <laughs> it's humid out today. Um, but anyway, there's a hole over there um, by that little set of trees, and um, I saw our little chipmunk coming up out of it. <laughs> so I think the majority of these are probably chipmunk holes, which that don't scare me quite as bad as snake holes. So um, I think we're good there. And um, I thank you for joining me here at Life on Turkey Lane. And uh, I really do appreciate you guys and taking time out of your day to come and spend time with me, listening to me rant and ramble and these little projects that I do. Um, it means a whole lot to me. And um, I thank you for that. And uh, so take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.